Here are three tips for getting your Android phone running buttery smooth again. Even though my device is a Nexus 6P, a top tier Android handset, I've still encountered some slowdowns after time. The first tip is easy, clean your cache. Go to settings, then storage and USB. Tap on the cache data, tap OK to clear the cache data for all apps. Even with my large amount of internal storage, I've noticed certain apps will slow down as the cache reaches a gig or more. The most recent culprit for me was Snapchat stopped recording. If you're hesitant to clear the cache for all apps, you can drill down to the individual app by tapping on apps. I prefer clearing the entire cache, but it may marginally affect your mobile data rate as some apps will then have to re-download images or data. Now the second tip is a new browser. Maybe you've noticed your web browsing has slowed down considerably. A few websites have been known to have very data heavy ads on a page, making load times longer and causing you to use more data. One way around this is using a web browser that can block ads. My app of choice is the Brave browser. It has a few nice features like enabling HTTPS everywhere when possible and prevents certain ads from loading. Finally, the third tip is to fully factory reset your phone. Sometimes this is the last resort, but you will want to make sure that you've got all your valuable data backed up. If you're not using Google Photos, start now. You can back up all your photos to your Google Drive automatically. You can even drill down into which folders you want to back up and set it to back up only over Wi-Fi and when plugged into power. You can also enable backup my data and automatic restore so Wi-Fi passwords, call history, and app data will be saved to your Google Drive. If you're like me and you don't mind re-entering a few Wi-Fi passwords and app logins for that fresh feel of a clean restore, you don't have to re-download this data when you set up your phone after the reset. For extra protection from losing your important files, plug your phone into your PC, copy over any folders that have photos, docs, music, etc. You might lose saved game data depending on the game, but for example, Final Fantasy VI has a cloud saving feature, which is very handy when restoring a phone or playing on multiple devices. Now for reset, go to Backup and Reset and select Factory Data Reset. After a few minutes, you'll be greeted with a reset phone and you'll have to re-enter your information as you would if it were a new phone. In the end, this might be a bit of a pain fully resetting your phone, but if you use a password manager like LastPass, logging back into apps is relatively easy, and this will give you a chance to install apps as you need them, getting rid of those that you just don't use anymore. With these tips, you'll keep your phone running smooth as the day you bought it.